How's it going guys, it's Gaming here, welcome back to another Fantasy Premier League episode. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I tried to do this in live com and it just didn't end up working. Um, the, the screen capture that I'm using, EasyVid, is just really weird. Whenever I capture it and do live com, the video is always shorter than my live com. So if anyone can recommend a good screen capture for a uh, laptop or PC, that would be awesome. But anyway, going into the points, we only got 33 this time around, and we're doing poor again. I think it's four weeks or three weeks in a row that we've been doing poor. And we got two injuries as well, which is really tragic. Uh, you know, I've been getting injuries almost every week now, and Bai as well is out for, I think we know he's out for about two months minimum, so that's really sucky. And Snodgrass going to look at his kind of injury, and he's out to about 26th of November, which is about a month so that's not really good. I mean, I wasn't really looking forward to swapping out injured players. I really wanted to make some um, changes to the team I already had. And there was a few recommendations last episode, so thank you for that. I really wanted to swap those in. So it's kind of unfortunate, but we have to swap out some of the injuries, which is really sucky. In terms of the points, my three defenders, Bellerin, Walker, and Kashani, have been getting me all the points. Everyone else has been doing absolutely nothing. That's why I wanted to swap the team around. So that's kind of sucky. But... Because Baye is out for the longest, I have to swap him out. I can't just have him on the bench. And it would mean I'd have two injured players on the bench. It's not really what I want to do for like a few months. So I'm going to swap him out straight away and look for another center back that's been performing fairly well. 6.3 in the bank for swapping him out. So that's pretty decent to have. And go to look at the defenders. And there's not really many good defenders that are up there with the points. There's heaps of Burnmouth defenders, which is kind of interesting. Because I didn't think Burnmouth were doing very well. So I didn't really want to put them in as well. Because I don't know if they'll be doing well in the long run kind of thing over the season. So I looked at Gary Hale. Chelsea are a solid team. He doesn't concede many goals against like the lesser teams. So against big teams, he kind of does sometimes concede goals. But he's getting lots of king cheats in the last few games. So I'm going to put him in for Bailly. And I think he's a solid play. He should get us points. He scores a few goals here and there as well, which is good. So hopefully all my defenders can be getting me all these points to make up for the lack of attacking uh, goal scoring and assists that I get. So anyway, that's the team I'm going to rock with. And to sort out the team that I'm going to go with in the next game week, um, I think I'm going to leave De Gea on. He's not coming up against anyone fantastic. And my defenders as well, Bellerin, Kashoni, Walker, I'm keeping them on definitely. In terms of the midfield, I'm going to keep the four that aren't injured on. And then I'm going to put Cahill on for Snodgrass to put out a four at the back. And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to rock with. I'm not going to change much else. I'm not going to put Vardy on. He's still not doing very good. I mean, in terms of Aguero coming up against West Brom, hopefully he can get me some points, as well as Negredo as well can hopefully get me some points. I think Negredo is more consistent than Vardy, so that's what I'm going to do. That's the team I'm going to rock with for the next game week, which I think the games are starting tomorrow in Australia. And... Yeah, so I think I guess that's how we're going to finish off the episode. Just a reminder that I still have my league, which I'll show you in a moment. Oz Gamers League, the link and everything, the code is in the description. So please come and follow. I'm giving away a prize at the end of the season. So as you can see here, I think Kelly Springhall and Simon are doing very well. They're kind of head to head on the first spot. So they're getting the prize. One of those guys, I reckon, will. I'm in fifth place, which is awesome. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this episode. Please like and subscribe, and I will catch you all next week.